It's my experience that long-limbed, endurance-trained rowers often struggle to do bodyweight chin-ups with good technique for enough sets and reps to develop strength and muscle mass. While it is possible to do 6 to 10 sets of 2 to 4 reps and gradually reduce sets and increase reps from there, I find most often that rowers do the same 2 to 4 sets of 8 or more reps just with rapidly deteriorating technique as fatigue outpaces their strength. Key features of a correct chin-up include a stable torso, shoulder blades generally staying in the down position, the latissimus dorsi, rear shoulder, and arm muscles the main movers and targets of the exercise, and a 2 to 1 lowering to lifting tempo to control the descent of each rep. One common error is flopping or falling to the bottom position. This fails to maintain control through the lowering phase and misses out on this element of muscular development. Another error is shrugging the shoulders up to use the stronger upper trapezius muscles, failing to develop the other back muscles and leading to the turtle shell posture at the top position as the opposite of how we want to move when rowing. A third error is relying on the biceps to make the movement happen. This fails to develop the other back muscles, reduces range of motion, and trains the early arm bend that we don't want to do when rowing. A final common error is heaving, arching, or kicking. These all sacrifice torso stability and fail to develop the target back muscles. It's also strength training in a way totally dissimilar to the rowing technique and increases risk of injury from uncontrolled movement. If the only equipment we have is a chin-up bar, we can at least do eccentric only or slow lowering chin-ups. Jump up to the top position and then lower yourself down slowly, trying to control each rep for three to five seconds. Do three to four sets of four to six reps in this style. Here I'm showing the same thing, but stepping off a bench instead of jumping up to the top position. We can also combine regular chin-ups with this. Do three to four sets of as many regular tempo chin-ups as you can with good technique, and then complete each set with two to five slow lowering reps. If we have resistance bands, then we can do a band-assisted chin-up. This is the exact same technique as a bodyweight chin-up, but the band will help the lifter, especially at the bottom position. Same as with the slow lowering chin-up, we can use a combination of unassisted chin-ups followed by band-assisted chin-ups to finish out the set, or we can just do all reps band-assisted for sets of higher reps. With resistance bands, we can also do lat pull-downs for lighter load, higher rep training, focused on the muscles of the mid-back and rear shoulder area. Make sure to control the lowering phase of each rep with a good squeeze of the shoulder blades at the point of max contraction to really train up the muscles. We can also use a cable or pulley machine to achieve the same goal. Lat pull-downs are fine for the same 3-4 to four sets of 8-15 to 15 reps, building up the strength of the back, shoulder, and arm muscles through the same vertical pull-down general motor pattern. With a barbell and squat rack, we could do variations of what I call the seated chin-up. It's the same vertical pull-down pattern, but with feet on the floor or on a bench to focus on the upper body muscles. The bent knees variation here is the easiest because the lifter can add a little bit of leg push for assistance. Decrease the leg push over time, then move the feet flat on the floor. Focus on keeping the hip joint relaxed so that the torso stays vertical like a chin-up instead of inclined like a body weight row. Move the feet up to a bench for the next level of challenge. This variation is my preferred way to do three to four sets of eight or more reps with most rowers for the best focus on the target muscles of the vertical pull down exercise. We can also use a TRX or gymnastics rings for this exercise. I really like this option for allowing natural rotation of the wrist and elbows and requiring a bit more from the shoulder stabilizers. You could do chin-ups with an overhand grip, underhand grip, or a neutral grip. The grip does not change the fundamental technique of the chin-up movement, and I think that all grips have value in a strength training program. Some rowers find that one grip feels better than another on the wrist, elbow, and shoulder joints. Whatever variation you choose, aim in general for 3-4 to four sets of 8-15 to 15 quality reps for upper body muscular development. Take 2-3 to three minutes of rest between sets. You can superset the chin-up with another exercise that doesn't use the upper body pulling muscles, such as a push or press exercise, and maybe even a squat, to make use of some of the rest time between sets.